3000 kg of steam, wet steam, with a drainage fraction of 0.95 is condensed per hour in a barometric condenser. The minimum height of the tail gas above the hot well is 8.5. This indicates the P mix and its absolute value is, uh, is given by 8.5 meter. The barometric pressure is 760 m of Hg. The cooling water enters the condenser at 25 degrees Celsius and the mixture of condensate and cooling water exit at 50 degrees Celsius each. We want to calculate the vacuum in condenser, absolute pressure in the condenser and the mass of cooling water required without undercooling. Without undercooling, it means that the temperature of the steam at entry and exit will remain constant and is same value. So we have mass of steam is uh, 3000 kg and it is per hour, so it is 3000 kg per hour. Inlet dryness fraction is 0 0.95. We, uh, this 8.5 we treat as a vacuum is minus 8.5 meters of water. Any pressure you can convert, any pressure you can convert using the formula rho g h. Rho of water is 1000, g 9.81, and height is 8.5, which is approximately equals to minus 83385 Pascal. Atmospheric pressure is 760 of Hg, which is approximately 1.01325. Cooling water enters at 25 and temperature of condensate is equal to 50 degrees Celsius as well as the temperature of water leaving the condenser is 50 degrees Celsius. We can find out the mixture of the condenser pressure that is P mix is P atmospheric minus P vacuum which is 1.01325 and in bar this value will be 0.83385. So P mix will come out to be 0.179 bar. We can record this value for 18 bar from steam table. To find out the mass of cooling water, we need to take the heat balance. For this, we should know the enthalpy at inlet and enthalpy at outlet. Since the steam is wet, we will use the formula HF plus XHFG at a given pressure of steam, that is 0.179. Using steam table, we will get this value is 2486. At outlet of the condenser, the temperature of the condenser is 50. So, H2 is equal to HF, which is 209.26 kilojoules. If we take the energy balance, we have heat rejected by the steam is equal to heat gained by cold water. Heat rejected by steam is given by M dot as H1 minus H2. Mass of and heat rejected by heat gained by water is given by mass of water multiplied by specific heat and the temperature difference of water. Mass of steam is 3000, H1 is 2486.96, H2 is 209.26. Mass of water we need to calculate. CP of water is a standard value 4.187, outlet temperature of water is 50 degrees Celsius and inlet temperature of water is around 25 degrees Celsius. Now you can solve this equation to get M. So mass of water come out to be 65,276.6 kg per hour. Vacuum in the condenser is minus 83.33 or 83.385 kilopascal. Absolute pressure in the condenser is 0.179 bar. In example number 2, a 184 kilowatt steam engine has a steam consumption of 7 kg per hour. Back pressure of engine which is same as the condenser pressure is 0 0.015 bar. The temperature of condensate is 35. Cooling. In this problem we have given the mass of steam supplied is 7 kg per hour. The absolute pressure in the condenser is P mix is 0 0.15 bar. Temperature of condensate is given as 35. Cooling water enters at 18 and leaves at 34 degrees Celsius. Since the initial condition is dry, we have H1 equal to Hg at 0.15 bar and from steam table we will get this value as 2599.2 kilojoules per Similarly, the condensed temperature is 35 and condensed value enthalpy is H2 is equal to HF at 35, 146.6 kilojoules per How much power is developed by a turbine has nothing to do with the energy balance. Energy balance is given by heat rejected by the steam is equal to heat gained by water. Mass of steam is given as 7 kg, H1 we have just find out 2599.2, H2 is 146.6, mass of water we need, CP of water is 4.187, outlet temperature is 35, inlet temperature is 18, solve this you will get value of, so required cooling water come out to be 257 kg per hour, the temperature of the condenser is given as 40 degrees Celsius, so we assume P1 is same as T2 equal to 40 degrees Celsius. The vacuum is given as 69, barometer reads 75, so we can find out P mix which is equal to atmospheric minus P vacuum. To find the partial pressure of steam and air, we have to use Dalton's law, mass of air and as it can be found out using the ideal gas equation. 
So the steam pressure is obtained using P atmospheric minus P vacuum, which is 750 minus 690, 60 mm. Convert this 60 mm using standard conversion into bar. 60 divided by 760, which is equivalent to 1.01325. So pressure is come out to be 0 0.079978 bar. For steam table, you can take 0 0.08 bar. Now, since the steam is condensed at 40 degrees Celsius, the saturation pressure of steam will be obtained at uh, temperature equal to 40 degrees Celsius from steam table and the value obtained is 0 0.0735 bar. By Dalton's law of partial pressure, the total, total pressure is due to pressure of steam plus pressure of air. The pressure of the steam condenser is 0 0.079, pressure of steam come out to be 0 0.0735. Subtracting this value from this, we get PA equals to 0 0.006395 bar, which is the partial pressure of air. The specific volume VG at PS equals to 0 0.0735 from steam table is 19.59 meter cube per kg. The specific volume indicates 19.59 meter cube per kg. So if you want to store 1 kg of steam, we require a condenser shell volume is equal to 19.59 meter cube. And this volume is entirely filled by the steam as well as air. Since we know the partial pressure of air, volume of air, gas constant of air, we can calculate mass of steam, mass of air for 1 kg of steam. So this same volume is occupied by air also. So we can write the volume of air 19.59, but remember it's a per kg of steam. Partial pressure of air is 0 0.006395 bar. Temperature is 40 degrees Celsius, which is 313 Kelvin. And to calculate mass, we can use the ideal gas equation PV is equals to MRT. Putting the value of PA equal to 0 0.006395 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 Pascal. Volume is 19.59 meter cube and mass of air we want to find out gas constant is 27 temperature is kelvin is 313 so mass of air is 0.139 kg of air all calculation is done for 1 kg of steam so this is kg of air per kg of steam